Starting this video out showing my Fluval Evo saltwater reef setup. Got a few corals on there. There's a fire shrimp. There's a blenny, lawnmower blenny underneath that rock right there. Front side of the tank, hyphen cardinal under the rack. Right there with the bumblebee snail. These are the two clownfish. There's the black storm and the mocha storm. Black storm's name is Panda. Hiding in the coral is a tricolor fairy wrasse. It's a princess damsel right there. And then you see a blue spotted goby. It's a pretty nice setup. It's been doing well for a while now. There's a lot of spaghetti worms on the bottom that help keep the sand white. That's a zebra hermit crab. Overall, very happy with the way this setup has turned out. This is the uh, BioCube right here, 29 gallon. We got three different types of tube anemones. See the purple mouth on that one. Purple tentacles with the green mouth on this one. And then this is the rainbow urchin. Love the colors on that thing. Four stripe damsel. There's a type of bicolor chromis in the middle. There's a three-stripe damsel in there as well. Here's Clifford, the big red lobster. A very large red reef lobster. You can also see a scissor tail damsel in the white tube. And I zoom in on the green mouth of the purple tube anemone. There's also a jewel damsel with the yellow tail. You can see his yellow tail right there in blue spots. That's the jewel damsel. And this is the 120 gallon predator display tank. That's Shipley, my manila puffer fish. Very lively guy. Then you see Drac, the blue spot vampire grouper right there. That's the broomtail wrasse. Love the red spots on the face. You can barely see the double barred rabbit fish right here. Beautiful fish. There's the blue face angel. Tim Robin. And here's Terry, the tasseled filefish. Very odd looking markings, but beautiful fish. So this broomtail wrasse loves when I put half clams in the tank. 
This is the blue spot vampire grouper. I named him Jack. He's pretty mean. He has eaten a clownfish and a harlequin basslet while he's been in this tank. But all of his tank mates now are too large for him to eat. I hope he stays around this size and doesn't grow too much larger. Robin, this blue face angel, is actually the king of this tank. He keeps Drac in check. If you haven't noticed, Drac is slowly starting to change colors. He can change colors very quickly. He was pretty dark brown at the beginning of this video. He's turning more of his light white color. He also goes to a very rocky pattern. He's got about three or four different color combinations he can go to. Those blue spots turn to black very quickly. See Dracky yawn. His mouth is huge. It's uh, surprising how big of pieces of food and fish he can eat. Luckily, the broomtail wrasse will eat just about everything I throw in there. Drac, the blue spot vampire grouper, will only go after pretty big chunks of food. This 120 gallon display tank has a overflow box in the upper left hand corner and I hard plumbed that down to a 50 gallon sump below. In the middle of the 50 gallon sump below, I have a small 13 gallon display that also has corals and some other small fish that would not do well in this larger predator tank above it. That's also where I have my biomedia, the skimmer down there have the carbon some physical filtration systems the algae scrubber is down there as well and you see the return lines right here next to terry the tasseled file fish he really is an odd looking creature but his camouflage is impressive oftentimes when you look in the tank you don't see him, he just blends into the rock. He, stared out. he stares down the camera often. Very inquisitive. He doesn't move very abruptly often. He doesn't want to get your attention he wants to blend in like camouflage so he's a fairly slow moving fish most of the time as the camera zooms in you can see straight through the 120 gallon the long way into the bio cube with the tube anemones and then through the bio cube to the fluval evo beyond it with the black storm clownfish you can see straight through all three aquariums. Very peaceful hobby. It's like a moving, living artwork. God's handiwork, beautiful.